What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we're going to be doing a gameplay with one of the guys we have not looked at yet in this new set. Obviously, um, there is one very, very decent card remaining that we haven't done any sort of a gameplay with, and one not very good one. So, today, video number 10 of the day is going to be... A Brian Scalabrini gameplay. So if you guys could leave a like, that'd be greatly, greatly appreciated. Like, um, obviously, there's no, like, crazy edits and stuff in these videos, but I have, in the past 14 hours, I have left this desk for a grand total of 20 minutes, and I have not worked for a grand total of, like, 30 minutes over the last 14 hours. So if you guys could leave a like in this video, and if you guys could subscribe, it'd be greatly, greatly appreciated. So let's see what price Brian Scalabrini is. I know he was under 10k last time I checked. Like, that's a steal. 7k for this dude's a steal. 6, 700, like... How is he so cheap? How is this guy here so cheap? Like, 5, 600 for Brian Scalabrini. Like, he's insanely good. 4, 950. Give me him for less than 5k. So these guys didn't sell, so let's add these to my collection. Let's add these right back to the collection. Uh, let's add Brian Scalabrini to the collection as well. So my actual squad. Um, who do I want to put in? Let me put in Dino back here. And then let me go with Mo Bamba as my backup. I don't know, let me keep Brick Lopez. And Rudy Fernandez is in here. Do I put Kobe in for Eddie Jones? I don't know. But one thing I think I'm going to do. I think Scalabrini might come in for Glenn Robinson. I honestly think he might. I'd say good, highly I rate this Scalabrini. So I'm going to go over Scal's stats and then I'm going to compare him to Glenn Robinson. So Scalabrini. Where is he? There he is. This card here. A card that I always wanted in 2K16 but I never had the 500k needed to get him. And I never got enough players with runes to be able to get him. So we got half range extender. 39 golds. Hot goal catch and shoot. He's got gold clamps, gold um, post move lockdown, I think. Gold interceptor, gold unpluckable. He's got gold um, flexible, gold sniper. He has also got gold hot stopper. So he does not come a quick first step by the looks of things. Next gen is not the biggest deal in the world. I just literally need him as just a sniper. Actually, I, I love Glenn Robinson. He might come in at the three <laughs> of the bench. 93 three ball, 92 mid range. He has got a not great post game, but he's got a pretty decent driving down, good ball handle. He's got good passing stats. He's got decent perimeter defense and interior defense. Obviously, he's a bad steal and block. He's got really solid speed and good lateral quickness. So, I am going to put him in for Eddie Jones. Like, when we're comparing him to Glenn, Glenn just has that release. Glenn's just chicken, man. Like, Glenn is just different when it comes to hitting shots. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, though. Like, stats-wise, I think Scalabrini's very comparable. And he's got half range compared to silver range. But... Nah, he is. What's its chicken? What's his name? Is Chicken Man? Um, Glenn Robinson. So Scalabrini's coming in. The three probably start this lineup here, and then have these guys. Yeah, this is. I like this lineup. I like this lineup right here. A little bit different than what I was running yesterday, where I would have had say what's his name at the one. I would have had Oscar Robertson at the one, and then as my backup, I think I had Jared Jack, but um, or even Brad Davis. But these guys are, are should be pretty good. So anyway, let's go on to the freestyle. Just to have a look at what Brian Scalabrini can do. Just to have a look at what this guy can do right here. It's like Brian Scalabrini's got hot zones everywhere on the floor. That really so... That reminds me of 11. That looks exactly like base 11 from what I use. Like that looks so much like base 11. That's so cash. Like it's... I. It's, it's kind of easy to shoot early, though. It is easy to shoot early, with it? But, like, this release is so money. I just give him that shot, and he'll hit it most of the time. Once you get the release down, it's going to be perfect. On the break, he's this range right here. He has this range in him with ease. With ease, he has this range in him. Like, honestly, Scalabrini probably has this range in him quite easily. Like, if I, can, if I can time well, he has that with ease. So, obviously, he's got range extender. If you're a good stick shooter... And you're not awful like I was just there. You should be okay. 
And that was just a well-timed one. Let's check out the fade. His speed is iffy, though. His speed is iffy, I will say that. Like, no quick first step. He's not really going to create too well. And this channel, let's check out Dribble Six. That's Pro 1. Or is that Pro 1 or Pro 3? It's one or the other. It's either Pro 1 or Pro 3. I think that's Pro 3, if I'm not mistaken. But um, it's not the worst thing in the world. Like, Pro 3 um, escape is not bad either. Pro 1's great as well. Pro 1 behind the back by the looks of things. Crossover is a pro crossover. I don't know which pro it is. But, um, yeah, what well, he's going to be a sniper. He's going to be a moderate legal player at everything else. But he's going to be a decent defender and a sniper. So that is what people are going to be using Scalabrini for. It's what a lot of people want Scalabrini for. Obviously, you can still spin layup, spin dunk on people. Because he is a modern-day athletic card. But, yeah, this Scal should be very, very fun. So anyway, now it's game on three. And now let's get on to the game. So Scalabrini, lads, Scalabrini. Who thought we'd get a Scalabrini this guy this early? And he'd be 5k MC. Not this guy. Like, he's a 5k MT Hall of Fame ranging standard player. Um, let's put him in for... Chicken Man. Or no, Granger. Yeah, let's put him for Granger. We're struggling. Steph's just going to hit every shot, so... We're good. Actually, no, 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 no. Let me use Chicken Man and then give me a person that will lock people down at the point. Give me Brad Davis, wherever Brad Davis is. Give me Hall of Fame clamps, Brad Davis. I haven't used you that much. You deserve you deserve a spot. He'll be using limited, though. Brad Davis will actually be a pretty good player for a limited, can't lie. He will definitely, definitely be a player I use for my team limited in my squad. And then I'm just going to try to get that Nick. I'll get that Nick Batum by tomorrow and have him for my team limited as well. But, um, yeah, so let's see who we are playing in this game. Let's see who we are playing. So it's Dwayne Wade. I assume Oren557 is an Irish person. And that is, oh, that's Emerald Dwayne Wade. Okay, I was like, sure, is that the good Dwayne Wade? Good block. And he's a gold Robert. Oh, okay, I, I genuinely thought that he had the good Robert Covington. A version of Shaq that was moderately good. And the Opal Dwayne Wade. Like, normally you see Roko, Shaq, and Wade. You're like, maybe he's doing Roko challenges and he got the good ways. Like, I don't think I've ever seen... Well, it's been a long time since I've seen the, like, the day one way be used. Oh, yeah. That's a good shot. Unlucky. That's open. And that is green in the face of Shaquille O'Neal by Brian Scalabrini. Let's go. We all know what Scal is and what Scal isn't. Like, Scal's not going to be a slasher. He is not going to be a slasher. Like, we know there's no point using him like he's something different. Like, some people are going to be like, why are you just shooting threes? And it's like, well, he is a three-point shooter. He kind of is a three-point shooter. Like, that is what he does. And that is what he does better than basically any card in the game for his price. Like, he's a 5K. Like, can we just take into account that this is a 5K empty Hall of Fame range standard player? That is not a glass cannon who actually plays defense. Like, this guy here is, like, how many better power forwards under 50k are there than Scalabrini? Not many. I'm just shooting slightly lights every time here. I just got to get my timing down. But there are really not that many better power forwards under 50k. Unless you want to count Jameson as a free card. That's his range. There we go. That's green. Is he actually going to let me just run to that spot and shoot a wide open every time? I right, just clamp him. Did he shoot that fade? I thought for a second he was going to hit that fade. Can't lie. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's open. And that's green there for Scalabrini. Let's go. Like, his handle's nice. He does other stuff well. Like, we need um, the Brian Scalabrini school for people who want to catch and shoot good and do other stuff good, too. Because that just sums up this guy. That just sums up this the way this guy plays in this game. That's a, that's a lag spike. That's fine. We got hit. I was saying not a lag spike. That was a load up animation. We got hit with something there. But uh, he's now got take. He's going to take off four shots as well. Which normally it takes... I don't know. Actually, four. it's four to five shots with like a hot shot player. Here's sharp take. Let's walk back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Scalabrini. 5KMT. 
He's 5k MT. I like, can we just Can we just sit back and appreciate just how good this card is for this cheap? Oh, step back. Give me that. Ah, it's unlucky. That would have been a nice one there. That was a Circus 3 shot anyway. I thought half Circus 3 is he might have made that. Nothing there. Okay, I can li live with it. Okay, let's create with Skull. Let's create with Skull. I want her back. That's green. That's green. Let's go. We attempted. We attempted to do something cool. I'm not much of a dribbler, so that's probably the best that I can do. But, um, yeah, for 5k, like this, it's a joke. It is actually a joke how good this card is for 5k. Give me that. That's his range. That's his range. Scalabrini's just... For 5k MT, can we... Like, obviously, we know the card's good. We know the card is good. But, like, 5k MT. 5k MT. I'm sounding almost like a Twitch streamer trying to, like, beg for money at this stage. $5 a month. But he's 5k. He's 5k. The guy is a god. How is he 5k MT? And it's not even like, yes, he could do a quick first step. Yes, he's not like a competitive level power forward. But he's 5k. Oh, man. One of the best value cards of my team. Straight up, one of the best value. Maybe even the best value. This guy is a beast, man. He is a beast. Worth every penny he goes for. And he's a, he's a great reminder of, of old times past. He's a great reminder of those beastly cards from 2k16. But like... It's ludicrous. It's ludicrous what the card can do. Like, he shoots from everywhere. He shoots from everywhere. He handles the ball. He does everything. Like, what? How? Just how is this card this cheap? How is this... Oh, watch it go in. But how is this card this cheap? And how are people not hyped about him? Like, is he as good as Bajla Bonga? I'm going to say no. But after Bonga, he's the next best cheap card in the set. He's better than Kobe. He's a lot better than Kobe. He's a lot better than... See, not a lot. He's a bit better than Kobe. He's a lot better than Glenn Robinson. He's better than... Nah, he's not better than Diamond Steph. He's better than Rodman. He's better than Mobamba. He is, without question... Without question, the second best... Like, cheap card in this. Actually, even... He's better than non-badge Bonga. He is, like, one of the better cards in the game. Like, he's in the top... Like, if I made my top 100 list, he's w like a way better version of, like, a Dattler Shrimp. Like, he's pushing, like, top 75 cards in the game. And he's 5,000 MT. Actually, he's, like, pushing higher than top 70. He's pushing top 50 at 5,000 MT. <laughs> crazy stuff, crazy stuff. So, anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.